Good afternoon. The trial of convoy organizers Chris Barber and Tamara Leach continues today with the defense asking the judge to bar some witnesses from testimony, including downtown resident Zexi Lee, who's part of a class action lawsuit against convoy leaders. CTV's Leah LaRock outside the courthouse live with more on the details. Leah. Well, Graham, it's been a little bit of a back and forth between the defense and the Crown today over those nine witnesses. As a reminder, the Crown has a list of 22 witnesses they want to call uh, to testify in this criminal uh, trial of Tamara Leach and Chris Barber. But the defense today is saying that they want to exclude nine of them. Those nine include some center town residents, some businesses, uh, including the Chateau Laurier here downtown, as well as a represent representative of OC Transpo. The defense says we don't need to hear from this. We've already signed an admission statement. Uh, it's already in the public record of what they are going to say. And this is essentially he, uh, the defense lawyer, Lawrence Greenspond for Tamara Leach saying this is akin to um, submitting a victim, victim impact statement mid-trial. But the Crown says no, these witnesses are absolutely necessary for our case. It shows the scale and the scope and the magnitude of what the Freedom Convoy was downtown. And it also speaks to the charge of counseling uh, and intimidation because they uh, plan to argue that the words and actions of Tamara Leach and Chris Barber did have an influence on the ground in, in Ottawa uh, during those three weeks back in January of 2022. So the arguments are going to continue uh, this afternoon, whether those nine uh, witnesses will be called. As a reminder, of those 22 witnesses so far on that list, we've only completed one of them. That was uh, Inspector Russell Lucas, who was uh, a police officer during the time. He was the one that okayed trucks parking on Wellington Street. So last week, the defense raising a little bit of concern about how slow this trial is going so far. So we are hoping to have a decision uh, today about whether those nine witnesses will take the stand in this trial. It is day five. It's ex this trial is slow. Uh, slated for 16 days. The judge already saying that she um, is already planning on booking more time for this trial. Graham. All right, CTV's Leela Rock live outside of court for us again today. Thanks.